the concerns that you hear, the, the rhetoric that, does, that, that is voiced, this frustration, is coming from a place that is very, very important for an economy that has left an awful lot of people behind despite their best efforts and their determination and their hard work. In a criminal justice system where one in three black male babies today can expect to go to prison in the course of their lifetime. Where 80% of the kids in this country that need mental health care cannot get it. We have an education system where one million public school children in our country are homeless. And so that frustration, that passion that we see and that we feel, that comes from a very real place. The rhetoric coming out of Donald Trump and Republican campaigns are not anywhere close to a solution. But while that frustration and that anger we did not cause, it is our charge to try to solve it. Because folks, there is not a problem that mankind has invented that has proved too much for the collective will of 320 million Americans. Because it is a, as, as a mayor of the city or, or as a state representative, I see what's happening out there and I see what, what I, the issues I really care about. Protecting, preserving, working rights. Making sure that a woman has the right to choose. That conversation should not be happening in 2016. Making sure that the budgets are funded, as I said earlier, for homeless programs, for addiction programs, for, for mental health programs. Those are the issues all of you are going to be working on first day when you get into the House or the Senate. It's important for us to make sure that we spend the next month making sure Hillary Clinton gets elected President of the United States of America. Right. The other thing for millennials is very really hard for us to do is to put your phone down. It's the selfie sticks and the tweets are not going to win the election. So <laughs> on Twitter all the time, that means you're not knocking on doors, and you're not making calls and doors, so please avoid those millennial mistakes that we often make. And the cool thing about being a millennial is that we are rising stars in whatever field we are. Because we just started, right? So I'm six months in the office, uh, and he said that. And, and to me, what he says about him is two things. Uh, one, that he's a very nice guy. You will learn uh, if you come into the house that, he, that speaking to Leo is a very nice guy. But the second and then one day, a young woman comes into my office who has two ch had two children, and both of whom have autism. And she came in and she described to me, she, by the way, she did not make an appointment, just came in and said, I'd like to talk to the Speaker of the House. And she came in and she talked about the difficulties that she and her husband were having, in particular about having make ends meet, because of the health care costs that they couldn't afford anymore. They were about to lose their house. Um, and payment of everyday bills was becoming very, very difficult. As a result of meeting that lady, I did a complete 180 and said, this is something that we have to address, we have to address now. So that people or young people, whoever, across the autism spectrum, would make sure that insurance companies took care of them. We're larger than the baby boomers. We're the most diverse generation in American history. And we're also the first generation that is looking at the potential of a standard of living lower than the one we inherited from our parents. Really kind of questioning this whole story of what our country is about and what opportunity in this country is about. So we are on criminal justice reform as uh, Congressman uh, Kennedy said, we have to get on to criminal justice reform, and we are behind in this state. We are on climate change, but we are behind in this state. We are a coastal state from Essex County to the Cape and the Islands, and we are at risk from sea rise and increasingly severe weather conditions. We are behind. We will be less behind. And we'll start moving forward much more aggressively and much more dynamically when you are elected and join us in the legislature. Good luck to you all.